What's up everyone? So I'm back with another video. This one is kind of a interesting one or from a shocking result in Italia Serie A, Juventus in Torino versus uh Inter Milan won final just a few moments ago and Juventus has finally lost for after winning 49 straight games ever since last season and I believe a little bit of the year before or so. So they finally lost the game losing 3 to 1 to Inter off uh, two goals by Milito and one by Palacio. I'll just go over it briefly. 18 seconds into the game, Arturo Vidal scored for Juventus. It was clearly offsides, however. Um, I believe it was Pogba. When he got his pass, Pogba was offsides by a mile, you can tell. And Vidal was onside, but it was the pass before that. So it should have been called offsides before he even got the pass to score. But it was a nice finish by him if you were discounting the offsides. And they were up 1-0 one, one in the first 18 seconds. So that's crazy. Then uh, Palacio, a few minutes later, he he did score and it was ruled offside as well. So the officiating was kind of, you know, questionable again. It was just sometimes there's just bad calls. And there's a lot of fouls going on in this game. Very physical. These two are all rivals just like Juventus and Napoli's rivals. Um, but these are two top dogs of Serie A. Always have been. But... In the, in the second half, Milito uh, was tripped up in the box. He got a penalty kick. He scored. A few minutes after that, he did score again to put uh, Inter ahead. And Palacio added in a third goal at the ending few minutes to just tuck the game away 3-1. to one. I'm not even going to go over the game, how, how much, you know, what team did what. The main storyline is that Juventus has finally lost. So this is going to open more confidence for other teams in Serie A because... Juventus has not been playing, you know, shutout football. It's just a uh, uh, shutout calcio, if you want to say it in Italian. They've been kind of iffy against Bologna. They were tied 1-1. And luckily in the last minute, Pogba again came up big and got another goal. Um, against Napoli a few weeks ago, they didn't score till, uh the last about like 15-10 minutes. So it's not like the teams teams haven't been playing well against them. They just get... Very lucky at times at the end of the games. Uh, they get um, good calls. I'm not saying they're selling, you know, calls or anything like that. It's just they've been very lucky at closing the game out strong, like, you know, in the last few seconds getting a goal to put them ahead. And they've been undefeated this year until up until now. I believe there's only one draw. They beat Napoli 2-0. Uh, they beat Milan. I think they've played them so far. They beat them. They beat everyone they have since last year. And they're a top team. Of course, they're gonna. They're still atop of Serie A. They're still in first place. Inter, I believe, is two points behind them. And if Napoli can win tomorrow, they're only three points behind Juve after dropping six points because they lost to Atalanta. So the main storyline is that Juventus uh, is now not undefeated anymore. They finally have lost thanks to Milito and Palacio. Mainly Milito's two goals uh, did it was enough for the win. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Juventus is beatable? I mean, more beatable now, more vulnerable now that. They finally lost. Do you think it's going to get to their heads? I'm not sure, but I know they're definitely, you know, a little disheartened by this. So, you guys let me know what you guys think. That's pretty much it for this video. Juventus is not undefeated. They've lost to Inter Milan 3-1 today in Torino. Thanks for watching. Peace. Subscribe.